My name's Ann Baxter, and I'm one of the two co-directors here at the museum. And I'm Deb Waltemeyer. I'm the museum operations manager. I've been here uh, about three years now. It's a unique place. Um, mm -hmm. It has a unique creation story because the founder is um, a Palo Alto resident, and she was born in Palo Alto, so she has long ties and love of this area. And she uh, is a geologist who spent time in the Sierra Nevada, loves earth and place, and she uh, wasn't a serious art collector, but she was at the Smithsonian at the Museum of Natural History in like 1985 or 1986 or something in this going down a long hallway and she says she was gobsmacked at seeing the whole journey of Tony Foster's paintings and you know all well, the artworks with the mixed media and all that collected pine needles and things he found from uh, his whole trek on the uh, John Muir's trail in the High Sierra so it's Tony Foster's um, John Muir's High Sierra is the name of that journey. So she saw all those works and just fell in love immediately, she says. And she started, you know, finding out where he was representative and it turned out he was represented by a gallery right in San Francisco. And so she started buying his work and over the years just felt more and more compassionate about how striking it was and and how it's sad where he thinks of these themes of journeys and then they're sold by the museums to or the galleries to a lot of different collectors so she realized it's so important to keep the journeys together and she uh, worked out with Tony Foster the artist that they would create a foundation called the Foster Art and Wilderness Foundation and that was just 10 years ago and that was to keep the journeys together in this foundation and help uh, not only keep his work together but inspire people as I you know said with the mission of just not only appreciating art but nature and protecting it over time so um, that was only 10 years ago and my goodness this founder is quite a visionary his art is a journey and so uh, I guess there are a lot of ways to consider journeys but we are now when we write about it, we spell it with a capital J, like that is the journey, is the art, the, the exhibition is the journey, because he thinks of a theme, like it might be um, uh, ice and fire, and so his journey is was to going and documenting um, volcanoes in all their um, states. He was in Hawaii and he painted an erupting volcano, and he went to other areas and in a dormant you know, volcano. So he might take, um, like Mount Rainier, he might spend a week there painting a couple of paintings. So that'd be one journey, you know, that of an actual trek or something, but it's part of the whole big thematic journey of ice and fire. So some of them are pretty literal like that, or um, the Grand Canyon specifically and others are more thematic like philosophical so he is working on one called exploring time from moments to millennia so the whole journey is all different aspects of time and this gets more important to people as they age you think oh, that's what is time and how can it be so fleeting but uh, so part of that work is probably going to be of two big paintings of the Grand Canyon, one from the rim and one from the down by the river and all the geologic time that it took to form that river. And another piece is going to be a sunset, which, you know, the light changes so quickly. Another one, probably a wave, just that moment in time. And um, then he's painted here with a, Earth, just the shift of the land. He's painted in Bolinas and someplace to Hatchapi, which is quite far south of here. And those in the past were next to each other, but with those, you know, our shifting ground, those have shifted over the time.